Hi, I'm Tom and this is Whiskey Shorts. Um, so today I'm going to be doing another whiskey from the 101 Whiskies to Try Before You Die book by Ian Buxton. Um, and today it's the ninth in the book which is the Bell Blair 05 Vintage. Um, so one thing I didn't realise till I read the book is that uh, what Bell Blair does is vintages which is different from other companies on the market so traditionally to age statement or go down the non-age statement route um, so it's nice to have a bit of variety out there. Uh, Ian also talks about the distillery um, saying that it featured in the 2002 film, uh, 2012 film uh, by Ken Loach which is The Angel's Share um, which I haven't seen yet actually which probably is a, is a misstep on my behalf. Um, and he also gives some information about the age of the distillery um, and specifically that it dates back to the 1790s so I um, thoroughly recommend checking out Ian's notes in the book but what we're here for is the whiskey and <clears throat> as always uh, I'll caveat this by saying it's my first impression so um, would recommend you try it yourself um, but <clears throat> going in on the whiskey I just get Victoria sponge cake on the nose. Um, it really has that mix of vanilla buttercream, um, the sort of sponge cake itself and the, the sharpness of the jam that you get. And it's, it's really an inviting jam to smell. So going in on the palate. It's very light and smooth at first, um, which kind of doesn't prepare you for sort of the peppery spiciness that you get at the back. So, get lots of that vanilla. Vanilla, fudge, um, all those sort of sweet, sweet tastes that you'd associate with an ex bourbon barrel. And then, you just get this like hit of. Um, pink peppercorn on the tongue and that gives away I'm actually getting that raspberry jam at the end of it um, oh looking into there I've got a bit of a uh, cast char in the bottom of my glass as well um, yeah it's giving me a decent mouthfeel I thought when I first tasted it it might be a bit light on the mouthfeel but actually there's a nice bit of heat to it that I think lends it a body that it wouldn't have otherwise. Um, in terms of that finish, um, it's fairly long, um, I'm still getting some new flavours now and then it's just going into almost like a, um, a custard at the end which is again really nice. Um, but as I say these are just my first impressions, I'm going to go away and get to know the dram a bit better now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you can come and join me for my next whiskey, which I think might be the Ballantine's Barrel Smooth. Um, but you can find out by following along, um, subscribing to my videos, checking out some of my previous videos. I'm now, as I say, on number nine. So yeah, go back and have a look and uh, I hope you can join me again soon. Many thanks. Bye.